Because before we even get into Shawnee, what we need to get into is this ridiculous reunion outfit looking like a damn broken traffic light. And they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But we need to fix this because this is an entire epidemic. A travesty, it's tragic, it's nothing but a tragic story. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button please and do subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe for daily, consistent, constant content, yes daily. And do head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali. Now before we get into this video, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are confused right now because we don't normally see a British Arab guy talking about American TV shows. But yet, here we are. Now, this situation has really irritated me and I've taken a while to get into this topic because I wanted the dust to slowly settle when it came to the controversy of this entire series because we do have a lot to get into and I wanted to kind of allow the information to just dissolve into me so I can really condense myself into these points and really get it out to you in a very kind of pragmatic manner. Guys, I'm so pissed off. We're gonna head straight into it. Shawnee, you are a colorism enabler. You have been an enabler from the day you've arrived on this set. And if we wanna really be real, you do not deserve a spot on the show as an executive producer because it places yourself at a different level in comparison to everybody else. It's, it's jumping over a table aggressive. It's throwing a table aggressive. It's throwing a drink aggressive. Yes. Yeah. Have I done any of those things? No. No, but Thank you wanna fight people and tell them you kill them. What? Who said I'm aggressive? Who said it? OG is the master of making every conversation about her. She is a passive aggressive enabler. She is just in general an abusive enabler, I also feel, because OG is definitely not the first and I definitely believe she will not be the last. Vashon Dia, what are you doing? Vashon Dia, what are you doing? Because we see you and I'm about to get your life in this video. So if you're watching this, buckle up because I'm ready and I'm irritated. What we need to get into is the fact that you have a very biased relationship with Evelyn. Was Evelyn wrong throwing a drink? Absolutely. But I do understand people doing crazy things out of anger. OG's aggression, it doesn't seem like it's a moment. It seems like it's just a lifestyle. So thank you, Vashon Dia O'Neill, for your services. I am sick of this relationship because it's detrimental to this show. It's going to bring the show down. There have been several instances where you have excused Evelyn's severe, and I say severe with strong meaning, severe aggression, but you have given other castmates a completely different outcome, different treatment, and it's wholesome, and it, and it is ridiculously unfair, and I've had enough of it. Every single time Evelyn has been thrown a drink, attack somebody, lest we forget, Lest we forget, she nearly threw a glass bottle on somebody's head. Yeah, you have the audacity to call OG aggressive when she has only in expressed her opinion and defended herself. But yet you've never used that word once for Evelyn at all. You say, oh, you know, Evelyn's got her hands sometimes. You know, Evelyn's got her out of hands sometimes, but OG, she's just aggressive, etc., etc. But has OG thrown bottles on some people? Has OG thrown drinks, climbed on people? So why are you giving one person this ridiculous excuse? But for, for, for Evelyn, it's a whole different treatment because she's your best friend, you've known her for a very long time. So you have this subconscious, but I believe conscious, biased friendship where you allow her to act the way that she wants to act since you are this big executive producer, yet you don't do the same for other castmates. And I find it so unfair and I think there's a lot of severe unjust behavior going on on the show and I do believe it needs to be cancelled because we're seeing nasty behavior in these individuals and I'm not here for it at all. Brandy was right. Let's get into this whole situation. Brandy was right. But before we get into Brandy, because we need to read, dissect and analyze their relationship, this whole interview that Shawnee O'Neill did at the end of Basketball Wives was simply to evade any accountability. She was doing it to evade any responsibility. She was doing it to evade any type of blame, trying to do the absolute most and leave it alone. Because if there was no uproar or defense for OG from the public, if there was no outrage from the public in defense of OG all over online, then this behavior, and this interview about colorism, the information on VH1 about colorism, all the nonsense would have never taken place. OG would have been chucked off the show and the next season, this would have been continued and continued and continued. This is, this is what it is. The only reason Shawnee O'Neill is trying to save face 
is because of the outrage. And I feel like she doesn't really actually understand the situation at hand here. And frankly speaking, doesn't care for it at all. But the only minute she will care for it is when it potentially could affect the show and there's severe public outrage. When that clearly means that she doesn't, and you know, the, the track, she's got a ridiculously awful track record and that entire interview was complete nonsense. Like, it was just awful. Like, Mark in itself, I feel like I need to do a separate video on him because he was ridiculous on the show and I feel like he was pandering so much to Shawnee and Evelyn and I find it hilarious how much of, of a dominant force they have in that circle. They have such a dominant force that they suck people in and people have to obey to them otherwise they're gone and I hate this kind of dictatorship that Shawnee has been holding down from the day she stepped onto the show. And yes, Brandy was right. She does look down on people. Now, my issue with Brandy is that she delivered it in a very negative way. I'm not being sensitive. God I'm damn, speaking I for- I don't have time okay, to put damn diapers you, on Shani. women. You ain't gotta put no mother on me, like but it. you act like a bitch. Where did she just say, hold on. Shani is the executive producer. It's her show, it's her franchise. So I am here to deliver this in a proper way, in a pragmatic way, to talk about it with logical kind of wording, which I feel like Brandy lacked. However, I'm glad Brandy said what she had to say because she stood up for herself and it's definitely true. Shawnee does look down upon people and she knows she's doing it, but she will never take accountability. You're disrespecting us. By what? This attitude. What you attitude have a, is that? that? He used to disrespect me and make it seem like I'm less than or you more than me or better than me. That's not gonna happen. Or responsibility. And I feel like what we're seeing here is somebody who possess potentially, allegedly kind of narcissistic tendencies where they don't take accountability and they do not understand that they are coming from a place where they are at fault. She's done this continuously. She chucked Royce on the show. Um, then there was um, Mika Claxon, who obviously got taken off the show. The same thing happened with them. Then Brandy got taken off the show. And the, now the same thing is potentially going to happen to OG, which I doubt because, you know, in that colorism interview, Shawnee had to make an apology. Or you'd say, you know what, I apologize to her for the behavior and how it happened, but you're not really sorry. The only reason you're sorry is because there's a public outrage. The reason why you are sorry, Ms. Shawnee O'Neill, this is why I'm expressing why there's potential narcissistic tendencies. The reason why you are sorry is because you have realized there's public outrage and you don't like the idea of the fact that the public could think of you in a negative way. And of course, people have disliked these characters from the beginning. But what I mean is, when it's affecting their show, their credentials, the work, and the public are really getting irritated by this a particular instance, then they're going to do as much as they can to kind of save face and evade accountability and responsibility and, you know, keep it pushing and keep it moving. But we see you, Vishon Dia, and we know exactly what you are doing, and I'm just not here for it at all. And it's disrespectful. You don't have to, but you never are. Have. So therefore, never you have. still treat us disrespectfully. Have I ever with you? Have but you're doing it now. You, you are that bitch. You are a bitch. Now, I don't know if this is true, but apparently she didn't even create the show. Apparently it was Jackie. I mean, that's why Jackie said in that reunion in season six that this is my show to Evelyn, that you've come to my show. Because apparently it was Jackie who, who suggested the idea, who uprooted the idea of Basketball Wives. It wasn't even Shawnee. And if you want to keep it all the way real 100, Jackie Christie is the only married basketball wife on that show. Point blank period. So what are you doing, Vashon Dia? What are you doing? I don't understand. I feel like you are definitely a passive aggressive individual and you have denied continuously your behavior. You do possess these kind of severe kind of, um, I feel like she's more of a covert kind of narcissistic individual. Allegedly, I feel like, you know, we should throw these kind of technical terms out there, but of course, just with a light weight because we don't know for sure. But I feel like this is a, an analytical profile assessment character analysis and I feel like Shawnee O'Neill is a colorism enabler. She has enabled so much behavior for Evelyn and Tammy and several other people but especially Evelyn and I'm absolutely tired. I'm just done. If there was no public outrage or support for OG this colorism interview would have never have happened and none of this would have happened and Shawnee would have continued with her ways. Y'all have a warped reality, that's the problem. Or maybe you do. Do you ever know about that? Because it's like a bunch of people at this table that kind of feel the same way. I think you're because very sweet friends. one on one. No. You won't give us no. a chance. OG is the sweetest person. Hold on. The real tea for today is that Shawnee needs to lead that show. The real tea for today is that Shawnee is the most passive aggressive, abusive individual on that show. She is the most dangerous person on that show and she has been running these people like clockwork for the last couple of seasons and if you're running it for drama or cool, but running it to enable colorism, running it to enable forms of severe kind of underhand abuse that these cast members have felt and chucking them out and holding a dictatorship is disgusting, is demoralizing and I have had enough. Vashon Dia, you need to exit stage left and leave the show because you are just 
I don't know, like, I just feel like you're, you act like a child. You act like such a child. And it's interesting because if we cast our minds back to conversations, you know, when Malaysia, when Shawnee said to Malaysia ages ago, when Malaysia actually had common sense back then, saying to her, oh, you know, I don't think you have any substance. Was more so of a substance issue. You're telling me that I didn't have substance is what you're saying. If, if you wanna, yeah. And then Malaysia said back, oh, I don't think you have any substance either. Well, I feel like you don't have any neither. Okay. So, Shawnee then said, oh, you know, look how this is turning high school See, that's why, yeah, and the, 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 there we go. Yeah, it's like, like kind of high it school is, it is, yeah. it is you know what I mean? By you saying that back. But surely you saying it initially to Malaysia is high schooly as well, no? Or are we not gonna take accountability for your reasons? I feel like she likes to look down on people and she does it continuously and everybody can see it, but once it's addressed to her, she immediately denies it and everybody is scared to address her because she has that executive producer role. I don't care if you had blood, sweat or tears to create this show, it does not matter at all. Once you enter that show with these people, you are at a higher level than them and that is unfair, that is wrong and that enables you, the keyword is enabling in this video, it enables you to run this dictatorship and I have had enough child. You know she's doing a whole madness when people in London are irritated with her. When we tired of her as well, child, it ain't even just you guys in the US. It's we here as well. We are over it and we're tired of it. And we need to speak up about it because I've had enough of this sick, disgusting, narcissistic behavior. And she just sits there acting like she's better than everyone, that she owns everyone. And whether she likes to admit it or not, because she never will, because she won't understand it, she definitely is. What she really needs to do, the real tea is, she needs to head back to that show that she has with her family, that dry ass show, keep it to that, because I feel like you are ruining your own show. And that's the beauty in this. She has apparently created the show with blood, sweat, blood, sweat and tears, and with those same blood, sweat and tears, Shawnee O'Neill is ruining her own show. She will never take accountability. She is a bully, it's disgusting, it's childish, she is an enabler, she's a passive aggressive individual, and this is, I told you, I'm gonna go in, because this is character analysis and I've had enough. Let me know your thoughts are, please. What are your thoughts on the whole situation? Do you guys agree or disagree? Please do comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. Follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts when it comes to this whole situation because this is a dire, severe situation that I take very seriously because I can't take this behavior for too much. We've seen it in so many scenes taking place so many times and I've had enough. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do subscribe, click that button. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.